her clients who actually you know remain um, quiet not until uh, investigations conclude by the police but yet to get information from the police on what is it that they have been able to obtain from this particular individual that is a Feth Musonda after her appearance here at Lusaka Central Police Station I should make mention to you that as she appeared here um, at Lusaka Central Police Station she was quite you know composed uh, and um, also although she did not manage to talk you know uh, to the media but her gestures were um, you know quite uh, composed and it is not only uh, Makebi Zulu who is representing her in this particular matter as a lawyer we know also that Jonas Zimba is also one of the lawyers uh, that you know is, is representing uh, Miss Feth Musonda the police just a few days ago did issue a statement in this uh, particular matter where they reviewed that after recovering this huge you know these huge uh, sums of money at one of you know uh, um, the houses uh, in uh, new kasama which has actually been uh, perceived by uh, some people that it belongs to miss so after they recovered um, you know money they have been telling us that they have been looking uh, for Miss Feth Musonda not until yesterday when the lawyers did uh, disclose that she's actually she hasn't been on the run but rather she will be able to avail you know herself before the police which she has done today so the partial investigations or interrogations into this matter have concluded for today and we are wait to see another appearance of Miss Musonda it could be here at Lusaka Central Police Station or at police headquarters, depending on what you know the police will be able to say. Lusaka Province Deputy Police Commissioner Mr. James Masie hasn't been able to talk to the media at the moment, but information that we have is that he will be able to address the press pertaining to this particular matter. The source of the money that, you know, was found at uh, that house in, in New Kasama is something that the police may need to investigate on if at all they suspect that this is money which is reasonably suspected, you know, uh, to be a proceed of crime or money which is suspected to have been unlawfully obtained. And therefore, there is this huge task that, you know, the police uh, may need to that awaits rather the police we are saying this because according to the constitution it is not an offense for a, post, for a person to be holding money in a house regardless of how much it could be but as the, at the same time according to the uh, four features as well as a proceeds of crime act under article uh, 71 of you know the constitution it does indicate that just by the commencement of this particular you know act any person who may be found in possession of money or properties reasonably suspected to be proceeds of crime may be indicted or may be charged with you know an offense of being in possession of property reasonably suspected to be proceeds of crime the same act does indicate that the you know penalty for this particular offense is actually you know a jail term of a maximum jail term of five years. So we are watching to see whether or not this is what you know the police will indict Miss Msonda on or any other charges because right at this very moment nothing has you know come out from the police side. My name is Darius John. I will be able to give you a detailed story on a diamond news desk at eight and you have been watching news.